one thing you really have to keep in mind on this bike mm -hmm. is try not to get your starter wet. Okay. I mean, I know it's the Just strangest enough. thing ever because I had to went through three starters. Goes through it. Okay. Well, I got a new starter, put it in, worked great. Washed the bike, didn't work anymore. Oh, shit. Okay. So I took it back to the starter place. <laughs> the guy's like, wow, I wonder what happened here. And then I said, well, and it, I, I said, well, I, I washed it. Oh, well, you, you can't wash it. You tell me I can't wash my motorcycle. Yeah. Come on. These things have got to be somewhat more waterproof than that. Well, just try not to keep the water spray. solid on it. Yeah, spray right on it. Yeah. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. Thank and if you. It, that's it, it's because you got... Now we're getting somewhere. She's starting to come clean. And of course, when we go through this and disassemble everything, I'll be cleaning it more thoroughly, but this is just to make the bike a little bit easier to work on and not as messy. But you can see a lot of the oil came off that front part of the block there, which is awesome. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I mean, I made a point to document all the leaks and everything that I saw visually before I cleaned it just so I would know what I was getting into but she's looking a lot better so far and uh, we're gonna move into cleaning the body and the rims here in a second Bike's nice and clean. Gonna get her dried off here in a moment and uh, I'll probably get her up on the stand and see about possibly getting into the rear brakes today before I run out of time. So we'll cut back to this when I get into the brakes. But she cleans up pretty nice. I mean, I know the bike's kind of rough, but actually once we got everything hosed down and, and degrease and everything, she's she's looking pretty good.